we're so excited you tuned in today because we're going to share with you all the features of our van that we absolutely love. After spending the last six months in the wilderness, we found that there are only certain essential items that we absolutely need. Welcome back to our channel. Hi, my name is Erin Owens Mayhew. I'm a registered dietitian, ultralight backpacker, and cookbook author. My husband Chris and I now live in our van full time and run our business Backcountry Foodie. So in this low budget production here, <laughs> filmed near Lake Chelan, we're sharing a lapel mic. Um, so we'll start on the outside of the van. Um, on either side of the van, we've got the CR Lawrence t vent windows that we've been really happy with. Um, one of the unique features on our sliding door, we've got a screen screen door that um, Aaron designed and uh, my mother-in-law helped build. Um, on the roof of the van, we've got five 100 watt solar panels. Uh, we've got two Max Air fans and our Webose antenna is in the back. Um, so now let's go on to look at the interior of the van. One of the many features we really like about our van are the window coverings that my mom and I make. They're just simply Reflectix covered by um, inexpensive deck cloth held up by a couple magnets. And we have these for all the windows throughout our van. Two of the absolute essential items allowing us to live in the wilderness are our WeatherTech floor mats and our seat covers. And um, without the seat covers, Ella would have trashed our seats a long time ago. And we also tend to be really dirty coming in and out of the van after hiking. And the floor mats trap a lot of the dirt in the water we bring in with our shoes. And it also serves as a place that we can store our shoes that we aren't wearing in the van to help keep the rest of the van cleaner. So now onto the living space of our van. Um, we've got these curtains hung here to separate the cab of the van from the interior. Um, Aaron and her mother actually sewed these so that they uh, fit really nicely here. Um, the curtains also, uh, we've got them velcroed to the sheet metal on the side so they make a, it's a really easy way to cover up the sheet metal and kind of give it a clean look here. Um, we've got this shelf that we installed um, mostly for sleeping bags and other miscellaneous items. Um, on the back of the passenger seat, the seat covers that we have include a, a pouch in them. So we use that for storing our dog Ella's um, leash and jacket and things like that. And then this seat also makes a good place for storing our, our jackets and other items. Um, as you can see, the van itself has plenty of room for me to stand up in my shoes. I'm six foot one. The ceiling itself is made of uh, PVC beadboard, which was uh, pretty easy to install and is lightweight. Because our business is primarily based on me developing recipes for backpackers, I needed to really think about how we were going to design our kitchen. And so far we've really found it to be pretty functional. Um, the countertop is a little bit deeper than most vans, so it does provide me with a lot of space. And we also made a lot of effort to make sure that I would have a huge sink. So this is a 15 by 20 sink and it's 10 inches deep. So I'm actually able to get my dehydrator trays in it. Um, this also serves in an extra cutting board. Um, and we also really like the slider cabinets that we have because this way while I'm cooking, I'm not having to open it up into my face. I'm able to slide it back and forth without any problems. And they also stay closed while we're driving. We haven't had any problems with that. Um, and when I do cook, I have an induction stovetop that I really like. And we were a little worried about it using a lot of power initially, but I rarely go over setting two or three, and I believe it goes up to a nine or 10. So it really doesn't use as much power as I thought it would. Um, and when it is running, what we do is we open up the windows here in our T-vent windows, so then that way it ventilates really well, as well as having our fan going. Um, and what we did find, because we did have to build the kitchen a little bit taller to fit everything we need in it, and then it's also on top of the cutting board, because I need the kitchen space, is that I now need a step stool. So this now allows me to be up high enough, because I actually sustained a overuse injury, because I was cooking so high that now I can cook in a natural position. Um, so that's been working really well. And then we also really love our isotherm refrigerator. It can hold well over a week's worth of food and we're vegetarians, so we eat a lot of fresh produce. And then because I am a cook, I have 35 spices and I really love having all these with me. So it really opens up all the things that I'm able to make. And our drawers are soft closed. That's really nice. And we have the push button latches that have been working really well. And then we also had a problem with mice recently. So we've moved all of our products that were in construction, or excuse me, um, cardboard containers 
up top to now the plastic down below. And these are actually old food ingredient boxes that I've recycled, so they're working really well. And then we have all of our canned goods down here. And again, because our business is primarily based on me developing recipes, we use our microwave all the time, at least three or four times a day. Um, so this is an essential item for us. So at the end of the kitchen, um, we've got our water pump switch here, which is in a convenient location. Uh, we've got a USB outlet, um, which is handy for charging our phones and things like that next to our bench. Uh, we've got a 12 volt outlet that we use to charge our vacuum cleaner and then our 120 volt outlet. Um, this is the only 120 volt outlet that we have next to our benches, um, but it's actually worked pretty well for charging our laptops. Um, we also have these handy hooks here, which are command strip hooks, um, which are pretty handy for organizing our cords. Um, within the bench itself, um, we've got a lot of storage space in there, which is handy for storing our files and computers and things like that. Um, the bench cushion itself is just a cheap uh, patio cushion and uh, it's weatherproof and it's held up pretty well. So this is our dining table slash desk and it uh, swivels on a lagoon table mount and we ended up we end up swiveling this quite a bit to kind of get in and out of each bench here. Um, between the two benches we have a curtain um, that gives us access to some of our storage bins in the back. Uh, mainly for we have one bin that holds um, a lot of our extra food right here. Um, so next to the passenger side bench we've got switches for our inverters. So we've got one inverter that's dedicated for the um, induction cooktop and then the other inverter does the microwave and the outlet next to our driver side bench. We also have a switch here for the alternator relay that allows us to charge the batteries off of the alternator. And then we have our uh, Victron battery monitor here as well. Um, we mainly monitor this via a smartphone app. Victron has an app that uh, within one app you can monitor the battery as well as the solar charge controller that's pretty handy. Um, and then we also have a USB outlet here um, and then another little hook for cord management. And then within the passenger bench itself, we've got a drawer here that comes out which we use to store all, all of our shoes. Um, and then this bench also, the, the lid lifts up so that we can get in there. There's some extra space under there for um, Ella's dog food and things like that. One of the essentials we found that we need, especially having Ella in the van with us and living in the wilderness, is we needed a spare cover for our comforter to keep it protected from her dirty feet. Um, and we also use the bed to store our window covers when we're driving. And we also have storage all the way down the side of the bed um, where we actually, this is where we fill our water jugs. And this is the parts that we need to use to fill the water jugs. And then here we store a lot of extra towels, which we found this is an absolute essential as we picked up some washcloths at Walmart and it was an 18 pack that I thought we would never use. And we run out of these before we run out of clothes because we're always picking up some kind of mess or dirty paws or water from her water bowl. Um, and then also these are our closets. So this is Chris's. He has two and then I have my own two back here in the back. And as you can see, Ella is a big fan of our memory foam mattress. It's queen size and we didn't have to trim it down at all, um, which was really nice. And we also like to watch movies back here. So we'll set up a pillow. Then we have our iPad that we'll put in the groove here. And we also have a wireless um, Bluetooth speaker that we'll put here so we can easily watch movies at night together. Um, and then we also really like our bedside lights because there's a single button is a blue light. So in the middle of the night is actually just enough light to be able to get up to go to the bathroom. And then it has the second light that's actually dimmable. It goes brighter and softer. And then one more time and it's completely off. And then we also have a USB port to be able to charge our phones or the iPad at night. Um, and another feature we really like is that I tend to get up earlier before Chris and Ella. So the lights are really bright. So we actually didn't put lights here in the back over the bed. Um, because this way we have a wireless remote that I can turn the lights off. And then in the morning we use the dimmer so they're a little bit lighter and I can get out of bed without waking them up. And then something else that I forgot is our laundry chute that's all the way here in the back that is attached to a laundry bag so we can drop our clothes down into the garage. And another feature of our van that we really like are our rear curtains that we use like we do in the front of the van. They do a really good job of covering up the ugly sheet metal. And we also have them Velcroed along the side um, so they're nice and snug. 
And my mom also made us um, tiebacks, which are really handy for keeping the curtains back. And we also use them as a, an insulator between the doors and our bed at night, and which really seems to help. And it's also just a pretty awesome view. I know I've told you a lot of things that I really love about our van, but our outdoor shower is one that I absolutely love. Um, it's gravity fed and solar heated, and if there's not quite enough sun to heat up the water, then we use our tea kettle from inside to heat it up. Um, we also lengthen the tubing so that we can shower either inside the shower here, or we can actually rinse off our gear, our feet, or give Ella a bath on the outside of the van. So that way we're not getting this area all muddy when we're getting our things in and out. And we also have this artificial grass mat that we stand on, so it keeps our feet clean while we're showering. Um, and then the curtain encloses the area completely, so we have these um, command hooks that we use from this side all the way around. Hi, Ella. <laughs> and then they enclose it this way, so you take it one more step here. And then it's completely enclosed. And we also use magnets on either side to keep it so it doesn't blow in on you. And if you've followed any of my social media channels, you know how much I love to be organized. So everything in our back here has its place. Um, all of our day packs, our shower bags, and those things that we need immediate access to are hanging by bungee cords. And then all of our gear are in labeled bins. These are about 30 gallons each. Um, Chris has a get gear bin, I have one. Then we also have multiple bins for our business items and ingredients for my recipe development. And then Chris has a road bike, which we're actually planning on transitioning to a gravel bike, so it's a little more useful because we spend our time in the wilderness. And then here is our laundry bag that I was mentioning that comes from the laundry chute down into our bag. So this is the garage of our van. Um, for the flooring, we have a marmoleum, which is an all-natural linoleum, and it runs the full length of the um, passenger compartment of the van. Um, it's really easy to clean, but we have had some issues with it expanding and contracting, and it's kind of bubbled up at times. Um, the entire uh, frame of our van, it's all framed out of uh, 30 millimeter extruded aluminum. Um, and I actually really enjoyed working with it. It cuts really easily on a miter saw, and then it all goes together with these little uh, corner brackets. Um, you can see our bed frame above. Uh, this is actually slats that we got from Ikea and we just strung two sets together and it worked out perfectly without having to cut them. And then as you can see we've got our water system on the over the driver's side wheel well here and then behind this enclosure here is our uh, power system uh, that will go into further. The water system of our van consists of three five gallon jugs and they're all connected back to a manifold here via the silicone tubing um, and it comes through these uh, quick disconnects so that we can take them off and pull them out easily if we need to. Uh, but then, so all the tubing comes into this manifold here and we've got three valves so you, we can select which jug that we're drawing water from. Um, and then this tube down here runs up to our water pump that's located under the sink. Um, the system works has been working pretty well for us. Um, one issue we've encountered is we do tend to get air trapped in the lines um, and it's really hard to get rid of. Um, and then we also have a fourth uh, five gallon jug that we use for refilling the system. So on the passenger side of the vehicle, this enclosure um, covers up our power system. Um, the cover is not that easy to remove. We've got all these screws holding it in place. Um, I've got three holes that are drilled in here just to make it easier to access certain pieces of equipment. So in this large opening here, I've got access for the, the main switch for the batteries, as well as our 12-fuse um, circuit breaker. Down here on the bottom left is the relay for our um, alternator, for charging via the alternator. And then down here at the bottom is our circuit breaker for our shore power connection. If you have any questions about the products we talked about today, we have detailed description about all of our experiences in our kit.com page. Um, the link will be listed below, but before you go, make sure you check out our backpacking nutrition videos and recipe meal prep for your next backpacking adventure. We'll see you next time.